Hey everybody, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about make files. So if you guys remember from our previous video, we kind of wrote a bash script that is going to help us uh, automate the provisioning of a Nix OS image in orb stack. What I wanna do is I wanna be able to quickly go through a set of rules, essentially, uh, testing out locally on my device. What I wish I would have learned earlier in my career, because I'm not I'm not traditionally trained in software development, so I have a lot of gaps, right? Um, is that make files are essentially what make that happen locally on your machine. So let's go ahead and make a make file. And the make file is gonna have a few concepts that we want to look at. So we're gonna call the phony here, and we're gonna, the phony has various targets I think is what they're called and we're gonna have well I believe four targets so there's init there is build Nix OS there is test Nix OS and then there's clean for cleanup and so for our init we're gonna go ahead and essentially create the structure that we want so we're gonna call the file we're gonna call our scripts file for creating the base image we're going to create our manifest uh, directory so that'll look something like this so we go into init we do make dirt p manifest next base scripts build scripts build output next os base and we're gonna go ahead and do a file manifest image catalog.json echo So that is essentially the first target, right? Now the next thing that we want to do is do our build. So we want to build our NixOS, and I think my bash script has some bugs in it, so I don't think this is fully going to work, uh, but at least you'll get the idea. So build NixOS at echo, and we're going to just to the console NixOS base image. Essentially this at echo just, it, it disappears and it prints to the console just this, uh, uh, this string. Okay, so then we're gonna schmod our place X. We're gonna do scripts build create nix os base dot sh scripts build, and we're gonna go ahead and call nix os base dot sh. And we're gonna go ahead. We want to update our catalog. So we're gonna have a catalog of uh, of manifests, and we want to append new build IDs to them. So th I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. This might be a little bit long, so forgive me. So we're gonna update catalog.
Okay, so this one should work. The next thing we want to do is actually test our, our Nix OS box. So we want to go in and generate the machine, and we want to see if we can connect to the machine. And then we want to create some our Nix OS configuration files by uh, actually moving them over, very similar to like how you would with Ansible playbooks, for example. So uh, it's a Nix OS. And then our last make file will end up being our, our cleanup stage. So we want to clean the machine out of the environment. So in case we want to do a new version whenever a new version is released. So we can do clean. Uh. Okay, so we should be able to go ahead and try this out. So if we do, let's make sure we don't have any machines running with orb, which we don't. If we do make build Nix OS, you can see our machine is running. I think my script is gonna fail though, but I'm just trying to make this video so you guys can uh, get the idea. If we open up a second terminal, we can go ahead and do orb list. We can see that we have a new Nix OS provisioning box, uh, version 2505. It has its own IP. It's in a provisioning state. Same here. There we go. Detected our version. And then I ran into an error, but that's fine. We'll debug it later. But we can go into here. We can see that we have our Nix box in a running state. We can actually SSH into it. NixOS at orb. I can run a who am I? I'm Foxhound and I can go into temp directory and I can do ls-la and we can start debugging our script or start stepping through it but yeah. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about make files. I kind of like to think of them similar to like a CICD pipeline just at a very smaller scale. It's like a CICD pipeline just for your local machine um, and you can build these and obviously share them in git so all your devs can have you know similar environments as they build out um, okay cool i hope you guys learned something and i'll catch you later if you liked the video please you know like subscribe add a comment all of those things and i'll catch you guys in the next one as we continue on our journey of creating some hardened images catch you later